Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to design a simple bevel gear, gear and pinion mechanism in SOLIDWORKS. I hope you like it. Let's see how to do in SOLIDWORKS with the help of assembly features or with the help of design library. We have a uh, here you can see here design library. We will create this gear with the help of this design library and animate at, animate at the end of video. So let's see. So now here we will we are going to start to create a gear and pinion mechanism so let's start new assembly okay now this is the solidworks assembly window here we will create our gear and pinion as assembly so first uh, go to option we will change the image quality go to document property image quality here you can make it little higher see it is draft quality high and low resolution and here this is also wireframe high quality don't make too much because if you will make too much it the your file size become too high okay that's it inches we will keep our gear ratio in inches so now uh, let's uh, browse our first part first we will bring uh, we will get so here you will find one option design library if you will go to design library see you will find one option here toolbox just go to toolbox and here select inches matrix and many uh, standards are here we will prefer inches select and see inches comes down choose here power transmission then gear and here we will choose our first part as a straight bevel gear so just drag it here now this is the our bevel gear now in left side you can see this window here you will adjust the uh, properties of gear so let's choose this one 10 diameter this is already set because I already make uh, this uh, create this part so but if you will use first time then this value become different so choose here pitch diameter 10 millimeter 10 inch the number of teeth uh, let's say 40 number of teeth and pinion we will prefer 20 numbers just uh, half of the gear pressure angle you can see if you will make it smaller see this angle will be changed see its angle change but we will keep 20 it's a standard in many gears and uh, the face width uh, we will prefer 0.5 and uh, here this is the hub diameter this diameter 1.5 inch and this mounting distance what exactly this mounting distance let's change it and you will realize 3 millimeter 3 inch see this length become more so this is standard for our case we don't want to make bigger and this is the shaft this whole shaft diameter 3 by 4 inch this is ideal for our requirement and here you can see a key slot anything you want if you want to square it becomes a square see it's become a square okay let's keep a square but the rectangle is ideal for us so uh, let's keep rectangle select here okay once you select the okay it will ask you you need more than one gear see you can see the preview just select cancel this now this is the our bevel gear let's bring the opinion so again go to the same option and in the right side you will find out here bevel straight bevel pinion just drag it I think it is uh, in wrong position uh, just cancel it we will uh, adjust the position okay now this is the pinion now let's define these properties 
की पिच डायमीटर 10 मिलीमीटर नंबर ऑफ टीथ वी रिक्वायर 20 ओके नाउ हियर द नंबर ऑफ टीथ गियर नंबर ऑफ टीथ गियर नंबर ऑफ टीथ्स आर 40 सो लेट्स चूज 40 मिली 40 नंबर्स प्रेशर एंगल हियर आल्सो टू ऑप्शंस बट वी विल कीप स्टैंडर्ड 20 as it is what we selected here now face width the same and uh, hub diameter hub diameter uh, we will uh, uh, make it little difference let's say 1.2 millimeter okay and uh, mounting distance 2.8 millimeter that's enough and uh, let's choose here shaft diameter 3 by 4 4 inch let's choose 3 by 4 inch now see here you can see the shaft hole now here key we want rectangle that's it now that's okay select here okay now it is it will ask you again you need more than one part so yes we need here two part two number of bevel pinions so select click and cancel now this is the two number of pinions we required now we will adjust this one so let's define the our relations first choose top plane mat select this face cancel right click it and select here float option because by default first part always fixed now it is float now choose top plane mat and this face now see it's merge okay this position we required select here okay cancel now here select origin point mat and select this hole shaft hole and make here relation co-centric see okay cancel it now let's check it see it is rotating along with the plane so that's good news Now let's rotate both the bevel gear pinions. Now move. Still, this is not in perfect position. So rotate it. Okay. Now it's time to make some important relation here. Now select the first part. Drop down this menu and here you will find revolve boss base. You can see this geometry. Just click on this and here you will see I option show. Now see this geometry we are easily able to see. Now select this second geometry. A straight bevel pinion. Here also you will find the boss base revolution show. Now here we need to find out which point is uh, actually we required. I think this is the point. Choose select this point and this point. Coincident relation. Okay. That's it. Now select. See, this is the center line of this hole and the center line of this hole. And make relation perpendicular. 90 degree. Okay. Now this is in perfect position. Now here. Cancel it. 
see it is rotating uh, in very abrupt way so here one more uh, method we need to do uh, we need to fix this pinion with a particular uh, plane so let's try it some plane select front plane that's perfect choose front plane met and select this center line center line of this shaft or this hole now see it's going to coincide with this line select here ok cancel it now you can rotate see it is rotating in particular place now the same case we have to do it here met clear select this point and this point coincide relation ok now select this hole and this hole they will come in uh, co-centric way ok ok let's try to rotate this ok this is also rotating in its place perfect now let's hide this all parts hide now just check properly adjust this uh, it should not be met ok now here also try ok even if you will not try it's no problem we will adjust during motion analysis now let's save this assembly both the gears and pinion we have to save it is asking save all select ok select continue yes build and save documents and select any destination select uh, uh, we already have one file so let's make gear pinion assembly save now it is asking to save the part pinion come to desktop and save it as a bevel pinion now it is asking about gear come to the our destination straight bevel gear save now both the part and assembly going to save in uh, desktop now let's we will make animation right click here and choose motion manager select motion manager now here first we have to select motion analysis if motion analysis option will not come just select here solidworks add-ins and here must choose solidworks motion then your motion analysis option will come ok now I'll increase frame per second 50 I always prefer to choose 50 and let's say 10 second and uh, first uh, we will create uh, one by one relation contact relation select here contact here select two parts uncheck this material and uh, friction it is uh, okay standard friction 0 0.1 and 0 0.4 inch per second okay now select again contact select these two relate now gear and this second pinion select here ok now the third option is motor select motor select this face and let's keep rpm 5 second per revo per minute 5 uh, revolution per minute select here ok now we created we already assigned the all the relations now just select calculate now this calculation may takes time because uh, calculation always uh, it's depend on your computer speed and all see it's going to calculate slowly slowly that's it 
now drop down select play now see this is your gear and pinion bevel gear and pinion mechanism straight bevel gear and pinion mechanism i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our videos if you like to save this animation just select save animation here you will just choose your file destination this is the your gear assembly avi file mostly solidworks uses this avi file here i'll choose my format hdt and frame i'll prefer 50 frame per second save now it is uh, just uncheck this keyframe video one is sufficient select here okay once you select okay it will again recalculate and it will save automatically in your destination i hope you understood don't forget to share and like our videos and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks if you have any questions please write down in comments i'll try to answer each and every question sometime not able to answer but i'll try myself best i hope you like it don't forget to subscribe our channel thanks for watching